Good afternoon. You are welcome to another edition of our online class. And today, this topic is almost, should I use this, say, it's almost like, um, how should I say, um, what would I call it? Is it like a remix? <laughs> if there's anything like that, or I would say it's an old topic I've actually talked about some times ago. But I, I've been getting some feedback concerning that video that the audio wasn't audible enough, and I really apologize for that. And to every of our subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for how far you've been assisting us, even uh, the there is a message of uh, appreciation. Some of you who has been reaching out to me to say thank you for taking sent, I really appreciate. I'm not taking it for granted at all. Thank you so much. So for this uh, topic, I want to talk about this. And somebody was who complained last time. So you're always using the six lines. Why not use the eight lines? But uh, for this very topic today, I think I'll be dealing with that. And uh, you talked about gates. I think I'll also explain that today. All right. Let's grind electric fence configuration and connection to a Nemtech energizer. It needs to be using a Nemtech energizer as a uh, case study. So, um, before we get there, now let's talk about the electric fence uh, proper. Now, if you're dealing with electric fence, one thing you should understand after mounting your poles, which sometimes I feel that might be kind of straightforward to some persons. Uh, mounting your poles, you peg your poles as your brackets, your lines they've been drawn from end to end and how do you configure it using the eight lines? I'll be dealing, I'll be talking about the eight lines today. Let me use the eight line as um, should I say our point of uh, concentration, all right? Okay, this is it. Let's start off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's assume we have eight lines. This is the, actually the lines for the fence. And since we're using the Nemtech energizer as a, the kind of energizer for this connection, I'll be showing you something about it. Now let's assume this is the PC board of the Nemtech Energizer with all the stuff, the component here. I'm concerned about the particular section here. Um, here especially, right? This, there's a terminal block here. You always see the six terminal block. How many is this? One, one, two, three, four, let's say five and six. Now, the first two here, this is for the siren. Um, siren, yes. Siren, first two. Then the next two. From here, this is for the light, which is also strobe. We can also put a strobe, right? Then you have this last two for your switch. All right, this is the PC board. And right under the PC board, at the bottom part of your Nemtech energizer, you have your terminals for, on the left-hand side, let's assume the energizer is turned with the bottom facing me. You see something like this. Um, let's assume this is the bottom of the energizer. Let's assume this is this is the other part of the let's assume this is the front with your with your light there your own on this side right so this is the bottom you have one terminal here you have another here you have another here you have another here all right here you can see here the right uh, live out oh no i think it's face out face out face return and here is the f out and the out and the earth return 
All right, so this is exactly what the bottom of your energizer looks like. Um, shall we see this there? All right, let's. Um, by the time this is mounted, you should understand one thing. Let's deal with this first. This is the configuration aspect of this fence. Now, by the time your fence has been, you've done your, maybe your line has been drawn all around the, the, the fence through the bobbins of each of the poles, the brackets. Now, it is not time for you to connect. For configuration of your fence, there's one configuration I always tell people to always stick to, which I think is, is always the best if you look at it. Now, which is the, for the eight lines, there are other ways you can decide to try that thing. Maybe we need to try that today. Let's assume this is a, a fence. And it's okay, you want to loop this one. You want to configure this. It's ideal. This is what I always tell them. Use this. Let's say this is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I always ad ad advise you use this as a live. Live. Your earth, your life, your life, your earth, your life, your life. All right. If you have this as the first line, as your life, the second as your life, the third as your earth, the fourth as your life, the fifth as your life, the sixth as your earth, the seventh as your life, and the eighth as your life. It's most times better this way. Now, should you have any intruder that wants to break into this like i always say i prefer like when i talk about the principle of how your energizer works it's like i always say electric fence uh, is designed with two the operation is designed right with two principles i think these principles are number one the short principle and the loop principle i personally prefer the, uh, the loop principle because the short principle can be easily bypassed but for the loop principle it is very difficult to bypass the loop principle and there's another principle that has to do with okay a contact principle where if your life touches your head the alarm goes off if this cable is broken the loop the, the series connection is broken at any point the alarm also goes off so for me the short principle is one aspect like you touch the fence it shocks which is one but i feel that part of the principle is one the one second which i feel can be breached easily you can get a well insulated plier and you cut this you see you want to avoid the shock you cut but if it is not well looped you don't have them in series right you might have issue at the end of the day so please always ensure your face when looping your face it is done in series, not parallel. Those parallel connections, I tell you, they are not reliable at all. Because for the other principles, it can be it can be bypassed, but for the for the loop principle, it is more secure. All right. So I had to come up with this design. Somebody might say, I don't like this one. You want to do something else? Let's assume this is what you decide to do. What I've seen in most places, um, right? Uh -huh. It does have let's say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's have one, eight. Some of them out there, what they do, they can just come, they take okay, they just loop here to here, and you loop here, you just begin to see some unnecessary looping, you know, which I feel it is not always ideal. Some of the kind of come here. A loop here to here and you know you begin to wonder how this can actually deter somebody from breaking into into the the house this is not it just because in the first place your 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 like your friends there wasn't any planning that's why you just go ahead you begin to do all this but this is not uh, advisable at all this is not advisable at all i don't even advise anybody to use this so this is one method I always uh, advise you use. Why? Because you see this. You want to break into this. You first try, okay, let me try pass to the top. You're meeting a live wire. And always remember that but below this energizer, you see this, they come most times pre looped. The earth for every name tech energizer. The earth is always looped. Make you get the energizer, just open, unpack it, 
and you see the earth coming at the out and the return they are loop but the life is always left open so if you want to make sure this fence is more secured you should try and make your fence uh the, the configuration of this fence in series so why did i do it such way somebody trying to break from here you're going to make the life here you want to break from the top you're going to make the life here uh, the middle you also have the life at the middle and the earth just between them so somebody tried to say okay fine let's try to bring these wires together let us compress the wires by the time we push this line this line automatically touches this the alarm goes off also this uh, energizer the siren you see the alarm go off immediately immediately all right then if you try to say okay fine i don't know i don't want to bring the wires together to make it shorter I want to cut it by the time they open either from top or bottom make you cut it the, the, the circuit is open the alarm goes off either from the top or the bottom so that's why i always recommend this kind of uh, looping all right now let's see how we can configure this for us to have this in series let's say we are linking up from this energizer here so it means you're going to use a hc cable to draw your face out which is your life out, your fence out. We go through here. All right. This is a HT cable. It comes to the fence. So it's coming in this direction. By the time this gets here, the next thing you do is to take from here to the next life, which is life number two. Start from here and it's turning this way. The next life here after this is uh, the next is this life. Let this guy get to the end. Come to this other life. From here, the next life is this. And this all the move to the next life, which is life number five. And it goes this way. Look for the next life for this guy, which is number seven. Okay. And from seven, it gets to eight. Eight. It means this is the return. This cable comes all the way even to the to the uh, first return. So it means for the life aspect that is complete. So what is left is the earth. Now I need to take this all the way to the earth terminal. Then loop this the earth to the earth. So this is a complete circuit. The only thing you need to do here, you can take your cable. For many of the media or other poles, any of those poles you have around, so as we're having them, just any of them take from your earth, just tap from there, take it and bury it to your earth rod, the mass of earth, put the earth rod and link this with the HD cable to the ground. All right, I think um, this is all about this. The other aspect we look at, when this is done, you need to connect your your energizer from the PC board. All you need to get do here, this terminal is your side. You have the plus, and you have the minus for the light. You have the plus, and you have the minus. And this is the last one is the switch. So this is the minus, plus, and this is the minus. This is the switch. So take a cable from here. Take it. Take this to a side to the siren a sounder. Let's assume we have a sounder here. This is the plus. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the minus and this is the plus. So take this, link this one. This is the minus, sorry. This is minus number two. This is minus and this is plus. Take this one to the minus and take this. So the point is the positive and the negative. The positive from the uh, terminal of the siren. Then if you have a strobe light, take this also to the positive and this to the negative of your strobe light. This is used, this switch is used to configure your energizer. I think with this, this is uh, what to expect when connecting a fence to an energizer. Now, somebody asked a question concerning a gate. He said, if this is done, that gate, you have some space, maybe like you want to run three lines to secure that aspect. This is what you need to do. Let me show you. When you get to the gate, the gate section, right? Let's assume there's. Let's assume we've drawn you somewhere here. There's a gate here, and you just decide to draw three lines. Um, now use three. Most times, either I'm using. Uh, if I use three, it means I will isolate one. 
because of the life or are used for and complete before because if you have an odd number it's difficult having it go in series like an out and a return but if you're having odd number so you see that if it's an even number it can go all the way and return so let's assume under the gate there's this stuff to fix this all i need to do here is the closest pole to this place i'll need to break here and put a spring if i put a spring here it means i'm separating here from this place so i'll tap one of these from here to this and it goes in here it gets here how i isolate this middle one nobody wants to pass through the middle they either pass through the top or the bottom so i take this to this guy here and i return this back to this the spring other end of the spring so it means this circuit that was broken here it has continued all the way here so if there's an intrusion even this one is broken it will affect this and then the alarm will go up as as the is fixed back up here broken this alarm goes off for the energizer so i think this is what you need to expect when you have this this is how you configure you connect and configure an electric fence this is the eight lines like uh, most of you have been saying you want the eight lines and this is what it's all about i want to say thank you for your time um to meet again is just for us to crack crack along and uh that's it, uh, crack on to meet in our next class do have a lovely week bye thanks for watching chasing shadows tech amaze in your care i feel so brave day or night heart behave